Have you put on your sunscreen? Yes. No, you haven't. Now get over here. Don't leave white clumps. Well, I won't if you stop scrunching up your face. Ah, it's cold. Look, it's either this or the big hat. The band from the hat pinches my chin. Well, then we're doing sunscreen. Okay, we're leaving. If Stewie starts fussing, there's some gold schlager in the freezer. Really? How could my own parents do this to me? I'd be better off with Mr. and Mrs. Aguilera. Okay, so we'll name it Michael if it's a boy and Christina if it's a nightmare. Excuse me, I left a tennis ball here about three weeks ago. Has anyone seen it? Yeah, there's one over here. It's a Wilson 3. Ah, rats. Mine was a Dunlop 6. Shoo! Fly away! Oh, good. At least this owl will chase him away. Oh, no! They're in cahoots! Ah, cahoots. Ah, well, at least I'll die mildly clever. Ah! Ah! Stewie! So much time blasting my core, I forgot about forearms! We now return to Finding Your Roots on PBS. So, Danny DeVito, what do you know about your heritage? Not much. Our family photos were all burned in a fire. I think we came from Sicily. Well, we have a surprise for you. Your great-great-grandparents were a pumpkin and a hamburger. They're beautiful! I can't believe this! I'm made of the best fillings of ravioli! Yeah, I just got to the house and there's like four cats outside. Okay, but how do I lure them into the drowning cage? Ah, I see. All right, that explains the dead mice in the cupboard. Tea tomorrow at my house, 2 p.m. Okay. Um, can I bring anything? That did not sound sincere. Oh, you're leaving? But I made all this food! Now I've got to eat 20 deviled eggs by myself, and there's no fridges, so I've only got an hour. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, bad start. That's enough of this nonsense. We're going to church, and then you're doing your book learning. Dang it! I hate your civilizing rules so much, I got a mind to wear one of my overall straps down. <gasps> what has gotten into you, child? Oh, crap, I better get out of here. Here comes CSI Missouri. Looks like someone done dang got himself killed. Well, I reckon one thing. Somebody's going up the river. The mighty Mississippi. Hey, I was thinking of heading down the river. You want to go halvesies on a raft? Sure, but can you spot me? I've never been paid, ever. Yeah, I got it. Okay, it says Armin is arriving with our raft right now. You, Huckleberry? Welcome back. My situation has, um, what's the word, escalated since last we checked in. Uh, I'm no longer in that guy's attic, but I did manage to take a couple of books from his library. What's important is I caught a bullet in the calf, and that is why my gun is trained on this doctor. This is gonna hurt. Okay, well, you, you got a belt or something for me to bite down on? I've got Oberto brand beef jerky. Weird time for product placement, but okay. And while you do that, let's read another high school classic I never broke the seal on. The Scarlet Letter. If thou feelest it to be for thy soul's peace. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Sorry, I just realized this book is gloomy and boring. It's just people being sad and never having sex. So instead, let's read one about idiots choking rodents. I give you Of Mice and Men. All right, Lenny, this looks good. Now, the trick to getting off a moving train is waiting for the exact right... Ow! Phew. Now I know why that railroad was called the B&O. It stands for Baltimore and Ohio! Whoa, calm down. No! Mental detectives know a lot about trains! <laughs> 